Hello, welcome to Brockwell Lane. Here's an update of uh, a few things I've been doing recently as we watch this uh, prairie tank shunt to wagons. Uh, you'll notice that the layout's now got some signals. Um, just three at the moment. Uh, these are from Ratio Plastic Kits. Um, there's the largest one. Um, now I have ordered, or had ordered, uh, model signal engineering ones which uh, were taking ages to turn up so I got fed up of waiting and bought the ratio ones. Uh, if the model signal engineering ones do turn up then I'll replace that one in particular. Um, these are all plastic kits. Uh, they're a bit tricky to build and they're not quite as scale as I wanted but they'll do for now. Um, they don't actually operate apart from with your finger on the arms. Uh, there's two siding signals I've built here as well. These have the white rings on them um, for coming out of the uh, this long back grass covered siding and also a slightly smaller one for this uh, for coming out of the carry shed. They improve the layout a lot I think. I've also, if you look at the back, there's a lot of trees I've put there. They're from Woodland Scenics, uh, silver birch trees. Uh, packs of four they came in, I bought four packs from Hattons because they were the best price I'd seen. I might get some more to fill in the gaps there. There's also three there at the back of the buffer stops. The whole layout have actually started weathering a bit more than previous videos with a like a rail match um, track dirt. I've gone over all the tracks again, um, so that's looking a little bit darker and less shiny size to the rails. I also did a very thin wash to um, station furniture. The Brockwell signs have had a light wash, although you probably can't tell on the camera. Uh, this station building also. Basically everything. Everything's had a, a slight wash to tone things down. That uh, water tower also had a wash. I've also been grassing around the track area with um, a straw coloured um, 2mm flock in between the tracks on these. Uh, rails here to the carriage shed, uh, particularly around the um, cattle. Um, what do you call a cattle pen? On these tracks here, looking quite overgrown now. I've also weathered this cattle dock quite a lot, and added some more beams, rails. Also notice the grass around the uprights, making it all look a little bit more disused. I've also started um, collecting some other companies' wagons to go with my Great Western, because I've pretty much got every Great Western wagon I want now. There's only one or two. Um, so to make it more realistic, I've got uh, a northeastern fish van to go in the set there. There's also a southern railway van I bought today. That's next to the LMS van I had before. I've also completely replaced the uh, engine shed building, which was a Hornby one, uh, with one which I've scratch built myself. Um, this is well. It, was, it started as the Ratio um, Great Western en Engine Shed, but uh, I replaced all the sides with brick card and also added the uh, inbuilt uh, water tank at the back there. I actually built that a few years ago. And it's been at my dad's house and I retrieved it and thought it looked better than the one I'd got so that's been completely replaced now and it's uh, currently on eBay
this is the Hornby rail car as well which you saw on my workbench uh, I think it was the last one or the last one before that uh, which has now been um, fully glazed uh, with flush glazing it was a real nuisance to do and I don't think I'd try it again um, but that looks uh, a little bit better than it did out of the box I think it's also got KDs fitted now thank you very much for uh, people that have subscribed to my channel and uh, commented sorry I don't always comment uh, back to everyone but uh, I do read them uh, feel free to share um, and uh, I'll see you next time I hope you uh, hope you enjoy this little running session and update thank you bye bye